Who doesn't want to get big? Ken Waller, one of Muscle City's greatest stars, presents some cool facts on getting muscle mass. He has packaged a program that could work for anyone. With some simple exercises put together in proper sequence and with the right timing, Big Red shares the secret of gaining muscular mass. Perhaps the most important point in this training for mass program I'm about to present is the need to establish the right balance between effort and rest. I mean, not only the seconds or minutes rest between sets, but also the days of rest between workouts. It's hard to knock off whole days at a time when you see Arnold and Franco and Zane going at it every day with their own private routines. You get this compulsion to work and you hate to let a day go by. However, before long on this mass routine, you'll learn to appreciate the need for rest. Growth simply won't take place without sufficient rest. Of course, diet also plays a very important role and I'll talk more about diet a little later. After 10 years of training, I have arrived at some facts of life. I have found that the best system for building mass is a four day a week program hitting each muscle group twice a week. Calves, which I work each session, remain the only exception. Here are some important points. Set realistic, achievable goals. Heavy training builds more permanent muscle. Heavy leg work is paramount. The full squat is the basic mass builder for the thighs. Monday and Thursday, you'll train calves, thighs, chest and back. We'll start off with calves and perform donkey calf raises. This is my favorite calf growth exercise. But if you train at home, and alone, you will have to substitute another exercise for donkeys. Perform 8 sets of 15 reps. For the thighs, heavy barbell squats are unquestionably the greatest thigh builder of them all. For a warm up, do about 10 freehand squats to stretch the muscles and warm up the knees. Now, go to a weight that you can do 12 reps with. This first set is still part of the warm up, so don't use maximum poundage. After one or two minutes rest, add weight to the bar and do 10 reps. Continue adding weight to each set as you do eight reps, seven reps, and six reps. Now, add more weight and do two sets of five reps. This totals up to seven sets. To add that full sweep to the back of the thighs, the next exercise are leg curls. Perform five sets of 12 reps. Before we move on to the upper body, it is wise to prepare the muscles with a light warm up before engaging in heavy training. I have found that doing two sets of 10 to 12 reps of chins and parallel bar dips done superset style is an excellent warm up for the upper body muscles. For the chest, you'll perform barbell bench presses. Use a medium wide grip. Start out with 12 reps on the first set. Add weight each succeeding set for 10, 8, and then do two sets of six reps. For the upper chest, you'll perform incline dumbbell presses. Do five sets of eight reps with the heaviest weight you can handle. To widen the lats, you'll perform wide grip lat machine pull downs for five sets of eight reps. To work the entire back, 
Next, our barbell bent over rows. Do five sets of eight reps with as much weight as you can handle. To finish off your workout, perform one set of maximum reps of chins and dips. That's all for today. Head for the shower. On Tuesday and Friday, you'll train abdominals, deltoids, and arms. For the abdominals, we start out with the Roman chair sit-up. If you do not have a Roman chair, sit on a bench and hook your feet securely under a heavy barbell. With your hands clasped together behind the head, lower the upper body down until it is parallel to the floor. Do one set of as many reps as you can, working up to 50 reps. Next are bent knee leg raises. Do one set of maximum reps, working up to 50. Bent over twists with a broomstick or an empty barbell can be used for this oblique tightener. Now, twist as far as you can to the left, then as far as you can to the right. Keep this up until you've done 50 reps for each side. That's it for ab work. We'll start our workout with calves. It's the same workout as Monday and Thursday. To warm up the upper body, perform two sets of 10 to 12 reps of chins and dips performed superset style. For the deltoids, perform standing barbell presses. Perform one set of 10 reps, add weight and do eight repetitions. Add weight and do three sets of six reps. Next is the barbell press behind the neck. When you use a very wide grip, this not only builds the deltoids, it also helps to widen the entire shoulder girdle. Perform five sets of six reps. For the biceps, you'll start with the barbell curl, performing five sets of eight reps. Next are one arm concentration dumbbell curls, and you'll perform five sets of eight reps. For the triceps, you'll perform the standing barbell tricep extension for five sets of eight reps. Next is the one arm tricep extension, which builds mass and shape and helps make them look bigger when viewed from the side. You'll perform the first three sets and do eight reps and six reps on the last two sets for a total of five sets. Wrap it up with two sets of maximum reps of push-ups with your feet elevated on a bench. That's it. Head for the shower. In conclusion, like everything else in this life, you get out of it what you put into it. If you want something bad enough, you can usually find ways of getting it. If you want muscle mass, you can get it, provided you are strongly motivated. Hard, motivated training conquers all. Go at it with a clear picture of what you want to be. Imagine your goal, then strive for it with everything you've got. Get plenty of sleep to help you recover and restore your energy levels. Strive for eight hours a night. You must also eat muscle building foods like meat, fish, fowl, and eggs and also eat plenty of vegetables and healthy carbohydrates. Try three meals a day, each with some kind of protein. Also, take supplements in between meals like protein drinks. You won't overeat if you eat right. Besides, like I said, you'll always do the right thing if you're motivated. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like, a comment, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And until the next video, keep training and chasing the dreams.